All right, hello friends. This is episode three of Looping with Ableton Live, and this time I wanted to show you a real-world application of a setup that you could use. Um, I developed this thing. It's pretty cool. You just put two loopers next to each other, okay? And using a MIDI controller, key mapping, or anything else, you only have to map two buttons to this to get this huge functionality to happen, okay? So all I've done is notice I have this floor pedal here. So I have number one and number two, and those are the only two controllers I'm going to use to do this. I've mapped number one to the record button of the first looper and then to the stop button of the second looper and vice versa, I've mapped number two to the record button of the first looper and the stop button, or of the second looper and the stop button of the first looper. Okay? So what this does is I can bounce back and forth between these, these different parts, overdub, do all kinds of fun stuff, and uh, make a performance out of it. Super, super simple and super powerful. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you what it does. So now you see I've got two parts and I can fluidly switch between both of them really easily. So yeah, you get the idea. And don't forget, you can also just erase these by easily double tapping and holding the second tap. Boom. Okay, so that's pretty much it. This is a really easy method, a really awesome way to get multiple parts going. Um, you can add as many loopers along the line as you like. If you got benefit from this video, please consider like, commenting, or subscribing on the video. And uh, if you'd like to support the channel, there's a Patreon link at the bottom. Thanks so much, everybody, and happy looping.